well today, for the first time ever, we're not working over here. We're giving the new shop. This one's just turned into a bit of a garbage bin, but uh, hey, what are you gonna do? So, oh yeah. So we got a plan today. Now, I know it's probably a little echoey in here. We're still working on that. I'm hanging stuff on the walls. And once you get everything I want up there, then we'll have to do something for <clears throat> some sound deadening. So I realize it's a pain. Look at all the space we have. I guess my talk all quiet, it's not so bad. The plan is today, we're gonna strip this thing down. We're gonna start doing body work on it. So not much to come off, but all the trim, all this has to come off. We gotta get all this, the window stuff, everything. All this trim around here, around the window, I think I gotta order a new rubber. I gotta order glass still. Take all that out of it. Then we gotta go around, we gotta make a fuel door fit, which I hope I have. I have started by gotta weld up any little holes we're not gonna use trim wise. Get stuff like that on there. I actually gotta drag my welder over. Get all this. Well, maybe I'll take this one off, but this out. Make sure there's no little rust holes. I think I did pretty good actually. There's one on the other side I gotta get taken care of. We'll just walk around and around. One right up in here. But I mean really dry it down, fill it full of weld, dry it off again, we should be good. So that's the plan for the day. I do have a bunch of body filler. Primers in stock. I gotta go pick some up. I didn't yet. We should be able to start slathering this thing in filler. Um, maybe get the hood fit. We'll see. That's kind of all down the road stuff. But we got a lot to work on here. Like I said, we're gonna work through this new garage here. We got a few things going. This new furnace, it'll scare you when it starts sucking power. It's got this uh, wonk. So you know when the hydrometer starts giving her about a break. We got all sorts of metal working tools and all. Now I don't need it. I have all the room for it. So that's the plan. I'm gonna get set up. We'll start stripping this stuff down. We gotta get everything out of the from inside. I'm gonna leave the carpet, I'm gonna leave the seat in there, just so this thing can move around. It turned into a bit of a catch-all. We gotta get away from that. Man, this thing looks good. Alright, well let's uh let's get set up. So after some slight fast forwarding, I thought I'd show you a few things. All the trim came off real nice. There was one piece. This piece. Just got a bit of a ding in it. So we'll see. Uh, we'll be able to work on that after lunch. I'm gonna take a little lunch break right away here, but that should be able to be knock it on a block of wood. And then that was right here, obviously, where the roof was all bunged up. It all came apart nice. You can see like it's good shape for the other side. I don't know if it's factory or not, but it was full of like uh, seam sealer, so you had to get all the screws out and kind of pop it all down. Both sides came with no problem, and then took the inspection and the chrome plate off. So these nomads, the upper gate has got a torsion bar system, as you can see here, kind of like a, like a trunk lid would have. And they're famously, they work fine, but they, there's so much pressure on them that they bend the lift gates. So if you look at a nomad, you'll see the tops of the lift gates are actually pushed away, so they gotta be bent back. Mine's broken, it's cracked. Um, so guys take the torsion systems out, which looks pretty simple. It looks like there's just three screws, I guess, and you get it in there on either side. And take it out, and then leave the hinges, obviously. And then I'll put a gas hinge on, or something along those lines. Got that off. Um, I don't know if I'll take this part off, but there's no paint gonna be there. I got the windshield trim out now. Here's the problem with tri-fives. I, I should have done this a while ago, but tri-fives look so ugly without a front window in them. It's just that big round glass absolutely makes a car. So mentally in my head, I like to keep the trim on. I don't know why. Anyway, I got it all out. It was it was bust. I mean, it needs obviously new rubbers and stuff. The glass was broken off in there. It was gentle. It was ugly, but all the trim came out nice. Uh, one screw I had to kind of screw with, so I'll mess with that. The one thing now you can see though, which is kind of cool, Get some of this chunk out of the way. You can see this is absolutely the factory kind of colors. It was the uh, harvest yellow moon, whatever it is. So yellow on the bottom, 
It obviously had a green interior, which is so strange. And then at the top, it was white, white top. So, I mean, I, I've said that before, I, we saw it in the back, but now you can clearly, that's stuff that has never been seen in many, many years. So we got that all out. So I will get this all kind of taped together. Just so we keep it all, put screws in a bag. I'll probably buy some new stainless hardware for it. The nice thing about these, I don't know if it's a Bel Air thing or a Nomad thing, but all the inside chrome was, or all the inside trim was chrome or stainless or whatever, I guess, I guess it was chrome. So we can see if we can clean that up, make it look a little nicer and go from there. Otherwise, she's kind of stripped down. Uh, I got to drag the welder across because there are some holes on this door. I forgot I got to weld those up. So we're going to get all over that and we'll kind of you know, paint here, make it look nice. But really, we should be able to get started and start putting some filler on this thing. I do have to build at some point, I don't know if it'll be today or not, but at the top, uh, there's a little support there to hold the headlight bucket. They screw in uh, three here and then one or two in the top, I forget. But I don't have headlight buckets, and believe it or not, five, six, seven are all unique to their own thing. So as long as I have two that match, it doesn't really matter. I'll drill some holes and make it happen. But I'd like to get that kind of taken care of sooner rather than later. But yeah. Oh, and this door has a couple of things. But I know it looks the same, but we are making progress. I will see you guys after lunch. All right, well, I dragged the welder over. That was fun. Um, anyways, we might as well use this fancy workbench I got and a block of wood. So how does this go? It's that way in the car. So it's a little, a little dinged up, but I'm thinking if we just run a hammer, straighten this line out a little bit and make it look kind of nice-ish. I'll put it away and forget about it till it's time to paint. I'll scramble. straighten right out uh, you know I noticed in the trims off the, that that uh, drip rail looks a lot straighter so we'll see trim was okay I could have gone a little harder on it but good enough for now anyway look at all this room we have welders here grinders something not tripping on stuff I really hope I can keep this place clean we'll see uh, we'll see anyway so these are old trim clips this would have been some sort of a more base model, I guess, car. Because the Bel Airs and even the 210, depending on what the doors even off of, would have had uh, trim all the way across. This is off like a 150 or something along those lines. But, uh, so instead of even trying to mess with these and get them all kind of undone, I'm just gonna grind them. That'll fall off. We'll clean up the metal around it. We'll then turn the welder on. We'll fill those in. And then, uh, I might reset up and start getting up in there because I don't know what that's going to look like and it might get ugly, so we should probably get that on camera. So, let's grind. be a lot of stuff like that happening today well hopefully not a lot but uh anyway so that's rough and up in here like you know what i think this is i think it's lead because it you see those little marks that's where i was pulling the trim out and it kind of indented it so i'm gonna probably have to mask up and get in there because like this is all full of lead too and i don't know what the best course of action is to do I don't really want to take all the lead out. I don't know how far it goes up, and I know this is a prone issue there and there on these nomads. The thing I might do is while I'm doing that, all masked up, I'll just kind of feather that down because like right now it's got a tripod. It's got quite. I'm show you. I mean, it's probably 
eighth of an inch or so of lead, which is nuts. But if I start kind of up here, well, it's even cracking right there. Kind of feather it in, and then it'll just be, I mean, it's going to be filler in there. I don't know what else to do. That part of the car I didn't touch. That's just how it was. This side, same thing. It's got, well, you can see it's got brass in it. So, I don't know. I mean, we'll, we'll get it all. I mean, you don't want to put filler on this because it'll... Well, maybe it only goes up that high. That's what this one does. Yeah, I'll get the, uh, I'll get a mask at the grinder out and we'll see. Yeah, up here we got some situations as well. But let's find out now before later. That's a problem. Oh yeah, then we gotta do this door. Yeah, we'll get going. These things, they also write the A pillars rot out famously in these Tri Fives. This one is uh, nice. A little, I mean, it's junk, but honestly, I'm sure a lot of people will be pretty happy with that section. This car's like perfect now. This would be like, this is the shape everybody wants to find a car in, right? All the all the metal work's done, it's got some of our motor in it. Oh yeah, look, it still looks like crap. It looks like a big project yet, but uh, a week from now, or 10 days, or two weeks, or six months, whenever it's all in one color and the glass is in it, it's gonna look like a real car. All right, I'll get uh, safety gear, safety gear. All right, ready for this? One time to be alive. All right, so, uh, so I'm geared up, press zip, so press grinding dip. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> it's all lead. It's crazy. So there's no holes in it. It's just a pile of lead that had a crack in it. So I got the crack out. This right here, this whole shape is lead. Like, it had a bit of a bubble in it. So I think I'll just kind of get it down and then we'll fill it back over with filler. This is the factory panel. I, I actually cut that off of uh, this panel when I put it on. It, it did have this piece, but whatever, it's irrelevant. I welded it across there, and it would have had to go all the way back there anyways. That's a fair amount of lead, but uh, yeah, I don't really want to weld a piece of metal over it because then you got sandwich issue with rust and a bubble and all that, so I guess it's getting filler. Up in there, it had a little kind of crack in the lead, but it's fine, it's all good in there, so we'll just fill her that up. This I did get down to bare metal, so we'll be ginger in there. I guess the headliner's a ways away. Don't wanna cause any fires, but that should be welded up, dress it up with the grinder. But this whole section, like I can actually feel with my lip, it's probably a quarter inch. But with my finger, I should say this quarter inch lip of just lead to shape this, so. Uh, yeah. I guess she's getting some body filler on there. That's uh, the way she was from factory. And that's the way she's going back with uh, modern products. So we'll get this uh, dialed together and we'll move on to the other side real quick. All right, so let's get rocking. So we'll grind this junk out, this filler, it's, it's clearly bubbled. It's gonna just be a little bit of lead. We'll get in there as well. Get that all down to metal. And then we'll hit all these holes. And hopefully it's not too full of filler. It looks good. Maybe some nice little spots. This uh, this door is in rough shape. We'll have to obviously sand it before we uh, put filler on it. What's a big deal? No, no problem here.
look at that. So I think that's what we're gonna do for right now. I have to run out and grab the Bobcat. I left it at Murders, and it's kind of snowing out and getting a little crappy. So I gotta do his driveway and come back to mine. But I don't know where we should finish that. I feel like I still got more to do today, but uh, I want to take the torsion bars out of the rear, whatever, when we get back. And then I think I might just kind of show you my plan for the bodywork. I'm going to uh, start sanding first. Um, so maybe we'll, maybe we'll finish up with that. I got that big compressor. I got Murr. Uh, I borrowed his sander. I got some sanding uh, big discs. Maybe we'll just knock down the, the door and kind of get some of this real ugly stuff off. And we'll end, end that way. It'll be like a full stripping video. It's like Magic Dan in here. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll hope they'll be back shortly, but uh, you know how that goes. Okay, so we're back at it. So here's going to be the tool for the job. Murr's giant uh, air sander. I ordered a bunch of stuff off of Amazon. I'll probably another pack of these now that I look at it. But look at this sweet stool. Now the car, even though it's a bunch of different colors and it's kind of ratty and all that, overall it's in really good shape. Obviously we know quarter panels and rockers, brand new steel, no worries there. They will need a little bit of shaping. Uh, there's a few dents and stuff like that we can kind of knock out with a little bit of filler, but overall pretty good. Uh, it'll need some filler along obviously the back of the door and on the seams and stuff like that, but the big stuff, nice and flat. This door, I've had this door for a while now. It's a solid door. You know, it's kind of rusty. You can see, I mean, it's the rust is coming through, the rust is coming through. Uh, it's got, you know, some dents and stuff, a little scaly at the bottom, but there's no big chunks of filler in it. I'm not too worried about it. The fenders, we did the caps. Obviously, there's some filler in the cap, but you can see we're right down to bare metal. I mean, it's just black primer. Rust coming through. We did all the repair on the side. That was all fine. Both the lowers have been done, but they look like they were done decently. And honestly, what's the big deal? You put the metal on, you fill it full of filler, it has a good shape to it. Fenders are good. The roof, again, it's, uh, I mean, I, this is, I mean, rust, and then obviously the, the original red oxide primer and the white and some miscellaneous colors, but there aren't a lot of big dents in it. This will just need to be flattened out. Sanded so that the material, the filler, the paint, whatever we put on there has something to bite to. The pain in the ass is going to be uh, these little, whatever, pleats or whatever you want to call them there. Those will be done by hand, which is kind of boring, but whatever. All in here we know is pretty solid. We were welding on half of it. The deck lid, we repaired that on the inside so we know the outside. And again, we're right, that's, that's rusty metal, so it's good. This car came from out west, so there's not a lot of rust out there. Um, these tri-fives, they all rust the same way, the floors rot out of them, stuff like that, but body panels seem to do pretty good. So what I want to do, I want to see what's behind this door. This is the only thing I'm a little unsure of. It definitely has a lot of paint on it. It looks like we're just down to bare metal, right down there. And it's all rusty back here, but let's just see how this compressor and that giant air hog work. We'll get her down. I think that's where we'll end the video, and then you know what we'll start on the next one? I think we'll just start sanding the whole car. Give it a, get the junk out of it, get these kind of layers off, start putting some filler down, start doing all that fun, fun body work that I know you guys have been waiting for and I'm so excited about, it doesn't even make sense. It'll be great. And then, yeah, in here, I mean, again, it all looks as rotten as this car was. <laughs> the seven pieces that I didn't replace are in really nice shape so yeah need a little bit of straightening out here and there i gotta go talk to, i got a buddy who's a body man by trade so i'm gonna do the best i can and then let me see if i can uh convince him to come over and do a little bit of, a little bit of work to it but yeah let's get after it let's set the camera up start doing some sanding compressor charged up i'm excited in the right mind gets excited we'll try to jam with the air compressor also there's like 18 masks on so the PPE you guys are always giving me. Uh, constructive criticism about it. Let's tear this apart.
couple of things. That compressor wails. So it kicks off at 175 and it kicks on at 150. Uh, I was sanding away, sanding away, so I got the most of it off with 40 grit and I switched over to 80 to kind of get more down to bare metal. As I walked by, it was at 150, so it just maintained. By the time I had put the disc on and sat back down, it already kicked off. So who would have thought buying a piece of equipment that's designed to do what it's supposed to do is a good idea. Anyway, so we got this door. Um, it was definitely blue. Looks like it was primer than blue at one point. Um, I didn't see one speck of yellow, uh, other than obviously yellow on top. So this was definitely not the original door to the car. Whether it's a Nomad door or I have no idea. I was, uh, when I did the other door, a lot of people said 55 Nomads, the doors were kind of butchered up. They were a sedan hard top door made a la carte almost in the 56 and 57 they actually started making a le legitimate stamped uh, nomad door so whether it's true or not i have no idea but either way it fits and it's in really nice shape um there's a little bit of filler here and here i didn't sand that right down but i mean this being on the edge it's uh <clears throat> i can't see it being too bad <clears throat> sorry there was a little dust in my throat there um right here just a little bit of a pull so i left the paint on there so i'll know where to go uh, this is actually fine down here. I just didn't want to, I started gouging into the rocker, so I didn't want to do that. I'll open the door and do it properly. A uh, couple little spots right there. It has a crease, but honestly, I, I think it'll be fine with a little bit of filler. And then right up here, there's just a few little low spots. Really not that bad. Might just kind of knock it out in one or two spots. And then right here is actually a little high. I'll have to bring that down. But otherwise, oh, a little filler right there. This door is solid. I can't, can't ask for much more. But I think that's where we're gonna leave this video. On uh, the next video, we're gonna st we're gonna do a pile of sanding. I'm gonna sand like crazy. Uh, turn my brain off. Turn the ear pods on, and just give her. I'd like to get the roof going. Hit that in some 80. Get it down. Make sure there's nothing hidden under there. Get the other door done. The fenders. We'll just give them a scuff. Get them ready to go. Now I'd like to start applying filler in certain spots. It's going to be a little boring, but I would like to get it down. At, we're, we're this far, we might as well take her right down, you know what I mean? In my sanding thoughts. Well, I'm, you know, holding the machine in the door, I'm like, eh, I should probably do this. The tailgate's going to be a pain, I see that coming. I do have like a little 5 inch random orbital, I should be able to get in there and stuff. And I mean, really, this paint's kind of... I don't know, it's flaking and breaking and all sorts of stuff. And it smells like it's probably old lead paint. We want all that off. So, anyway, that's where we're going to leave it. New tools, new grads. I'm stoked. Uh, I'll be back at tomorrow. New video, jamming hard. Oh, we got a couple dents in the back here, actually. Oh, no, just paint. Anyway, I got more lights coming in two days, but keep sanding. Thanks for watching. See you later.